Hey everyone, we're going to make this vinyl album cover mock-up from scratch and we're going to make it editable in a reusable mock-up template and we do that in Photoshop. Let's, uh, let's make a new composition and I'm going to make it 1000 by 1000 pixels. You could make it bigger, obviously, if you really wanted this to be reusable, you might do that. Anyway, we're going to start off by making the um, the, the vinyl component. Uh, I'm going to fill this with black. And we're going to put a filter that is a noise filter. Maybe not that much. Around about 80, and we'll make it monochrome. Right, just sort of black and white. Then we're going to add a, a blur that is going to be a radial blur. And we'll crank that right up go best quality one up and we're using the spin obviously to create those rounded grooves so it's looking pretty good um, next thing we'll do is we'll add a curves adjustment or levels and just to really crunch that um, tonal range and we'll get some sort of more grooves like that. It's looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is go over to my gradient. And I'm going to choose the reflect gradient. And I'm going to, on a new layer, um, uh, just before I do that, I'm going to bring out my rulers and add a couple of guides right in the center there so that when I drag out my gradient I can do it right from the center. I'm holding shift down to make sure that that's nice and straight. And that's looking good. Actually before I do that I'm going to fill that space, um, fill that layer with black again. And I'm going to add the gradient over the top of it black so I've got like a solid um, got a solid opaque layer so that's that looks good and then on here so this is going to be the shine may as well make that just a normal layer and I'll call this one vinyl We're going to transform the shine with um, perspective warp. I'm going to have layout selected and I'm going to drag two planes here, one on the left and one on the right. And click it over to warp and then I'm going to drag in oh, it's getting a bit funny isn't it? Drag in these Click OK, and I might just uh, transform that Command T. So that's going over the edge. I make a new layer. Fill. It's getting a bit convoluted, I suppose, but you get the idea. These two, I'm going to merge together. Um, layers and I'll apply um, some transparency to that so I could maybe drop the opacity a little um, but also um, add a, um, a screen overlay and the other thing that we could do would be to bring up our layer style and maybe 
bring the uh, transparent, adjust the transparency here a little bit as well. Just holding the option key down to separate those little panels. And that's looking quite good. So that's got our shine. Um, I think our vinyl's looking a little grey, so I'm going to bring up the levels again. Just deepen that off so it's looking a little bit more plasticky. Okay, great. A um, couple of things now. Let's add in like the label on the center. So I'm going to grab a shape tool. And I'm going to add in a black shape here. Quite dark gray shape. Put that on top. Um, um, and I'm going to duplicate that as well. Command J. And bring that in a little bit smaller. So this is going to be our label, I suppose. And we'll give that a color. Get a yellow. Something like that. Duplicate that again. Command J. And drop that down really small. So this will be a hole to our record. I'll recolor that as black. All right, now I suppose we want to mask everything off here. Um, so I'm going to make duplicate this original ellipse, transform that out to the kind of full size that we want our record. Something like that. And I'm going to pop that behind our vinyl. So you can't see it. I'm going to hold Command down. Make a selection based on that. And then I'm going to modify that selection and contract it by around about 18 or 20 pixels. Alright, and then I'm going to mask that vinyl layer by clicking on the Add Layer Mask. That's looking pretty good. We've just got to fix up the shine now, I suppose. And we might mask the shine based on the same mask there. It's starting to look like a, um, a record. Um, Another thing we might do is just on this background layer here, finally let's add a layer effect, which is going to be um, bevel and emboss. Just sort of that just picks up that edge there. If we zoom in a second, so I've moved the light source right over to here, to the right hand side, so you just get a little bit of a shine on that edge there. Just makes it look a little bit more 3D. All right, so that's our um, that's our record for the most part. Just hide those guides and. The last thing that we'll do is we'll make this element here a, um, a smart object, convert to smart object, because we can use that to put our artwork in. And I'll just open up some recent artwork. All right, and double click on my smart object. I'm going to bring that artwork into my smart object. And I don't know, just I'm randomly positioning my art here. Um, yours will obviously be your own. And I'm going to hold Option down and create a clipping mask between those. So we've got that transparency. And then I'll save that and close it up. And we've got our artwork on our record label and uh, sort of a record mock-up. In the next video, 
we'll look at creating the sleeve and putting the whole thing together.